Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a good place to stay. Because there are lots of places the mind can be staying right now. We choose our objects to focus on, choose our objects to think about. So make a good choice. There are lots of horrible things in the world right now. There are lots of good things in the world right now. Lots of things happening outside, lots of things happening inside. But as the Buddha pointed out, it's the things happening inside that are most important. Those are the source of what happens outside. And although you can't control the source that's coming from other people, you can exert some control over your own internal source. The things you do, say, and think, the intentions that you choose to act on, all that's in your power. Once you've acted on them, then they go out into the world and then they get out of your control, the results of what you've done. So it's good to focus right here, right now, on what you're creating, while you still have some chance to shape it well. Focus on the breath. Make it comfortable. You do have the choice. You don't have to just put up with any breath that's coming in and going out. Nobody's forcing you to breathe in an uncomfortable way. So there's no need to do that, especially when you consider that the breath does have a huge impact on how the rest of the body feels. And when the body feels good, then the mind has a better place to stay. When the body feels bad, it's going to be dealing with that issue as well. So take advantage of the fact that you do have some control over the breath. Make the most of it. This is what John Fu, my teacher, called the grass at the grass at the gate of the cattle corral. You shouldn't just let the cattle out of the corral. They go riding out into the into the meadow, looking for grass. And usually, there's a little bit of grass growing right there at the at the gate, but they run right past it. Here is something good that's right close to you that can have a huge impact on your life. So don't overlook it. Focus right here. And then as the breath gets more comfortable, you realize that the mind is in a better state. When the mind's in a better state, that's in a better position to look at things with a little bit more objectivity. Look at its own actions to see what really is skillful, what's not. When you're grumpy and irritable, it's hard to admit to yourself when you're, that you're causing the problem. But when things are getting better, then you begin to see, oh yes, when I do choose this action or choose this thought, it has this impact on the mind, and this impact on the world around me. When I choose that thought, it has that impact. Which do you want? You're in a better position to choose, to choose wisely. So start with the grass here right at the gate. Take advantage of that, then you find that the impact spreads throughout the rest of your life. This is just one of the results that can come from choosing well what you're going to focus on right now, what you're going to do right now. And making the most of that freedom of choice.